Yo what's going on guys I'm back with another video today I am back on Mythical PS and in today's video I'll actually go over the Valentine's update before we get into that I just want to announce a juicy giveaway of two of these Valentine donator boxes there will be two different winners all you have to do to enter the giveaway is make sure you are subscribed make sure to turn on notifications make sure to like the video and comment your in-game name down below the winners will be picked in my live stream that I will be doing tomorrow on Mythical PS itself, so definitely make sure you stay tuned for that. The winners will also be announced in my community Discord, in the server Discord, and on my pinned comment of this video. The links of Discord are down below in the description, so definitely make sure you join those. Now if you create another account you can use the referral code NOOPSOWN and you'll get yourself some additional really nice rewards, so definitely make sure to do that. Now of course if we want to cover some updates we definitely have to head over to the update log on the forums you can check this update log out for yourself if I miss some of the details but anyways starting off with the Valentine's loot box which is the item that I will be giving away so they ditched the monthly loot boxes in January which was apparently a mistake so they brought it back but this time around they will be doing event mystery box so they can stay a little bit longer um, so as you can see they can last between three to six weeks before the next um, um, event box will actually come so as you can see right here the loot from these boxes is five stored mystery boxes you can get 25 op keys you can also get two fifty dollar bonds there are also some uniques that you can get for example a bunch of roses with a one type each textile will actually heal you stacks up with soul split as well so you can get a double healing ability you also have the potion of love use it on another player to give both of you op stats for 30 minutes um, it has its own cool cooldown and therefore you can actually use it together with other stat boosters right after you use the potion of love which is really sick as well you also have lovers booties right here which is hybrid stats with 100 hp bonus effect you also have the heart locket which will give you a bonus of 250 hit points you have the box of chocolate which um, you can activate for 200% extra drop rate bonus for 30 minutes it does have a three hour cooldown but after three hours you will be able to use it again so you can basically use this over and over and over again 200% extra drop rate is also insanely nice so definitely um, a nice reward if you can manage to get that you also have cupid's bow right here which will give you a 60% drop rate bonus and also has very fast attacks you also have the ring of love which you can use to upgrade the p to uh, w ring or the pay to win ring and also gives you a 25 percent chance to double your soul split heal which is really nice and then you have the crazy fucking op key as well now i got myself 28 of these valentine donated boxes in my inventory to open up and hopefully we can get ourselves some of these loots the box of chocolates instantly this was actually the favorite reward that i could have gotten um, so secondly the cupid's bow and then we get ourselves the heart locket so we are getting a bunch of op unique loots here the lovers booties which of course gives you 100 hp boost potion of love once again a sick reward then there we go um five sword mystery boxes which is the first reward that isn't actually a unique so i'm quite lucky on those we got ourselves a bunch of roses which i am already equipping as you can see another potion of love i got the um ring of love here as well which is really cool this can be used to make the um pay to win ring a crazy fucking op key this is something that i actually wanted to get i got it back to back as well so i want to check out what i can get from these keys as well hopefully that is something really sick as well also some insanely op keys right there uh, moving on i'm going to spam click through these last 10 i just got myself 200 dollars in bonds back to back which is really freaking sick uh, and then I got myself another box of chocolates, another ring of love, and two more $50 bonds. Damn. So quickly deposited the um, donated bonds to open up this last box to get myself another heart locket. So that is the loot from 28 of these boxes. I got some really cool loot from this, so that is absolutely amazing. Anyways, coming with the Valentine's event, they also have a new Valentine's Global Boss. So at the west of the home area, you will find a man in love. He is actually extremely de uh, depressed and will attempt to murder anyone in his path. So he must be killed to protect the home area. The rewards you can get from this, of course, is every kill you will obtain a Valentine's bag of loot, which include, you could find any common reward, but also a little love aura, which provides another 250 HP bonus. Lover stiff aura when uh, in melee distance and using magic you will also um, deal an extra 5% of damage anytime you um, attack and then you also have cupid's damaged wings one hour of unlimited prayer but it does have a 24 hour cooldown to reuse it again 
Then you have the spread the love scroll while you're uh, while this is in your inventory All the experience is boosted by 20% Which is of course really nice if you want to get your skills up and you will also be able to get 2500 Valentine roses, which is very rare though so if we run from the home teleport a little bit to the north and here at the west side of the home area you will find the man in love basically what you can go ahead and do is kill this guy real quick and hopefully when he is done um, if we can manage to kill him you will get yourself the reward he has a lot of hp though so it is advised to do this with multiple different people hopefully i can do this myself and i'll be back in a second all right here we go so it is about to die my man dakota here was helping me out as well with the skill to speed it up a little bit so we will get ourselves the bag of, of valentine or the valentine loot bag or whatever it's called uh, in here so as you can see the Fa valentine's bag of loot and he actually instantly respawns as well so you can kill him a bunch of times to get a bunch of these bags of loot hopefully we can get ourselves a nice little reward and we get ourselves 25 bulging tags bags unfortunately that is not a rare reward we could have gotten so be uh, much better rewards but i'm pretty sure on the live stream tomorrow we will get ourselves some insane rewards from this anyways moving on to the valentine roses once again so you can get these from the valentine's uh, boss right here as you can see 2500 which is very rare though but you can also get this from skiller's chest and digging snow at the home area you can convert 2000 of these roses to get a uh, love bond right here and that love bond is of course really nice so let me show that in game so as you can see right here at the home area you have this pile of snow which you can just go ahead and clear and whenever you are clearing this you can basically afk this by the way so if you are doing something else in real life you can just go ahead afk this and you will get yourself some roses over time now this is quite slow so it will take quite a while to get it to 2000 of these roses but whenever you have 2000 of these roses you will actually be able to convert those so let me grab them out of my bank real quick i got myself 2002 of these valentine roses you can just click on them to convert them into a love bond which will give you anywhere between zero to ten dollars reward which is really nice i got myself two dollars so there we go Anyways, that concludes the Valentine's event. I will be doing a bunch of these bosses and other stuff on the live stream tomorrow. I'll also be hosting some giveaways throughout my live stream, so definitely stay tuned for that. Make sure to join in. Of course, at the end, I will also announce the winners of today's video. But um, yeah, definitely stay tuned for that. Anyways, moving on with the actual updates. Um, titles updates the Colon Con custom title is no longer a possibility and all the titles have actually been reset they are now working on making titles worth having this will include unlocking them for certain tasks that you have to complete or obtaining them as a drop for um, for example a title scroll if you have any suggestions you can also let the community know or the um, developers of the actual server including Connor of course the owner of the server Besides that, they have the monthly top voters, so you'll now find a hashtag monthly top voters channel in the Discord. You will display at the top, uh, they will display the top voters of every month starting from um, the month of January, which of course was last month. Each winner will actually be given a unique package of items, so um, you definitely have to keep up your votes to get a chance of getting that free unique package of items. So make sure to claim them daily, don't stack them, um, else you will not uh, maximize your potential, unfortunately. You can now also purchase the casket banker from the island minigame. This will cause um, all brown PVM caskets to automatically be sent to your bank, which is really nice. Iron Man icons will now display um, over their donator icons in chat. Vaders can no longer be AOE killed at the Concon SPZ. Uh, this was an integrity change to protect the value of its content. They removed also the social slayer option from the slayer jam. The Grim Reaper hood can now be used in the cosmetic override kit. Vote points can now be seen in the quest tab. Rage points will no longer be shown in the GP next to it. They added more referral code for our new YouTubers and they also fixed the gold spawns. Anyways, to finish it off, I want to use these three fucking crazy OP keys that I got. Um, you can actually check the rewards right here to see what you can get from this. You can get the Thanos Pad, Mythical Cloak, Tier 7, Upgrader, a bunch of other really cool items. So let's hope that we get lucky and get one of those. Starting off with a double drop ring, which is really nice. We got ourselves a green party hat and to finish it off, a ring of love. So unfortunately, none of the actual rewards that I wanted to get, the um, Thanos Pad would actually be the most sick reward, I believe. Uh, because that pet is actually super OP. 
Anyways, this is where I will be ending off today's video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, make sure to smash the like button, subscribe if you didn't already. Also, make sure to tune into the live stream tomorrow and enter the giveaway of two of these Valentine donated boxes. Once again, the winners will be picked tomorrow on my live stream, so definitely make sure you are in there. But with all that said, this is where I will be ending off my video, guys. So I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace.